Alrighty, good evening everybody. It is already dark out, however it is only 6.30, so you can tell winter is on its way. Isn't that a beautiful evening sky? Anyways, we are underneath in the lighted carport. Not heated, but lighted. We gotta still throw up the back wall. That'll be another video. That'll be another video later. We are going to change the oil in this Honda CRV Hybrid 2002. As you can see, I not really great. All right, add some light. I am on some 4x8x16 cinder blocks up front in park with the parking brake on so that I can fit underneath to manage this. And as well as have the rear wheel chalked so she is not rolling or going any place. So now that those peculiars are out of the way, we need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 17 millimeter wrench. And then, is this all just trash? Yes, all right. I forgot to empty that out last time. We are going to throw that away. And now let's climb on under there. Ugh. Apologies in advance if this part of the video you can't see as well because there's really there's not much to see unless you are here with me. So we have a couple of screws to take out. So, there's a screw, and that thing is just like a quarter turn latch. And we need to take this whole section off enough to reach the oil filter, which is up there. And lucky for us, they labeled it engine oil right there, 17 millimeter, which I will notate. Now, I could start that draining while I do this. However, are you the one? Yep, yeah, that one is completely wedged and stuck. So we're going to pivot on that one. I think this one was a pain too. Yep. And we're missing what? One, two, Two of them. <sighs> so definitely gonna think about modifying this next time I have my workshop open. Currently there's another project in there. You will see that one at a later date. Oh yeah, I need a flathead as well for that one. <sighs> so this just goes and proves that all of the glorious, easy maintenance videos that you find on YouTube are not real life. There we go. All right, so I got one there. Yeah, it's beautiful. We have three different types of latches holding this one frame on. And yet, almost half of them either don't work or can be
where did my i don't know how well this video is going to come out at all but you guys can suffer through it with me you got just a little bit more there it is There we go. Uh, yeah, one more over here. Not that you guys can see. And then I got this one. one that I'm gonna have to drill out one of these days but I can get everything out of the way like that and then... there we go alrighty so Ugh, not the prettiest not my best work but I am thinking about just cutting it so I only have to remove two bolts to hold that up to get to that. That'll be a decision for another time though. Alrighty. Are you still on? You are still on. Alright. Let us move the tools out of the way. Move the hat out of the way. the nuts and bolts out of the way all right so oil is there let me break it free first oh hey we have ourselves that thing all right are we going the right way we're not oh we are engine oil Where did that go? Hey, we're loose. It's dark, it's nighttime in New England, and you're underneath a car. We'll let that drain. Leave it inside. As she gets closer, we can get this closer. Get that out of the way. And let's see if old oil hands can get. Oh, 
Holy crap, how long is this thing? There we go. Alrighty. We will let that drip. And let me bring this all out. So, while that drips, we are going to have a talk, if I can get you set up. This, right here, is a tough wipe. I have no clue what is in it. We use them at work. I use them here. They get all of the oil and grease and everything off the hands. And it can go straight into the regular trash once you're done. Or oily trash if you want. For me, it just goes in the farm trash. But, this is what they look like. So, not a sponsor, just a quick review. I have had no issues getting everything off my hands after using them. Now, back to a regular program. We have our oily. All right, that's an M1. There you go, lines up nicely. I always try and line it up, double check that I got the right stuff. Now, here's the trick that I've found, that I've done for years. Somebody's probably gonna eventually tell me it's wrong, but oh well. Sorry again if the lighting is very poor, but actually, I got a solution for that. Flashlight. So, hat. Plus flashlight equals headlamp. Now, are we have full? So now, that's not as good. All right. I always wet the rim of my oil filters and gaskets that hold oil like this before I put the new one on. So, it sounds like she is done dripping. She is. Yeah, a lot of times, you can ask any mechanic, a lot of times you can look at what you need to do and where you need to go and what you, that stuff, but then when it comes time to actually doing it, you're basically just feeling it. Now, with oil filters, hand tight, not Hulk hands either. I have one hand that is slightly oily still, and that is as tight as I can get it, and that is as tight as I am going. Some have actual foot pounds that you're supposed to torque it down to. Others don't. Some have wrench handles on the end. There's a whole bunch of them. Now, the second... Oh, just dogs trick that I have always done. Let's first get your light going. Wow, somebody tightened that down. Pop the top, let it sit for a minute, and then 
with my partial that I always carry with me, just in case. So first tip, always, you're always gonna get wet and oily. But I always pour just a little bit of fresh stuff to help flush everything through. There you can hear it. And you can see that that's a lot better color. So we're gonna slide that out of the way. We're gonna tighten that down. Again, we're not overly tightening these. A lot of these have specific torques they're supposed to go to. I go to just snug. So, now that that's drain flushed, I open my new one. Which is taped shut for some reason. If you guys can not tell, today is not my day at all. But that does not stop me from getting up, doing what needs to get done, and just keep on going with life. Some days, days suck. Some days they'll be overwhelming. And you are allowed to just take days off on occasion and reset. But you are never allowed to just flat out give up. So, I am going to add about half of this. Now while that is settling, and I am getting oily again, I am going to try and fix my foobar mistake and accidental bending of that. Just like that. Back to where it needs to go. There we go. And put this back up. So Again, apologies if the lighting is bad and you cannot see exactly what I'm trying to do. What do I do with the tool? There she is. Uh, I need some light over here.
you. Whoever's taught this guy how to hold a light really needs to practice. That's a joke if anybody has ever held light before. They understand. Alright. So, did I have one more? I don't think so. I think I just pulled two of those out. Double check. No leak. No leak. And now we will pull the rest of the tools. Oops. Now we will pull the rest of the tools out. From previous experience, I know that this should take the majority of this oil, and I am about to lose camera battery. So I will try and make this short and sweet. just below the low fill mark yes she is at an angle right now but that is okay because like I said I carry extra with me all the time and my plan is once I add about another quart quart and a half I'm gonna let her settle start her back her off the blocks let her sit there level and then check her first thing in the morning before I start her and then after I get to work check her again and voila we will be good so that is where all your oil checks are oil fill oil dipstick and then you show where the oil drain and filter are. 